The ninth week of training is referred to as Hell Week. It is six days of no sleep, constant physical and mental harassment, and one special day at the Mud Flats. The Mud Flats are an area between San Diego and Tijuana where the run water runs off and creates the Tijuana Sloughs, a swampy patch of terrain where the mud will engulf you. It is on Wednesday of Hell Week that you paddle down to the Mud Flats and spend the next 15 hours trying to survive this freezing cold, the howling wind, and the incessant pressure to quit from the instructors. As the sun began to set that Wednesday evening, my training class, having committed some egregious infraction of the rules, was ordered into the mud. The mud consumed each man till there was nothing visible but our heads. The instructors told us we could leave the mud if only five men would quit. Only five men, just five men, and we could get out of the oppressive cold. Looking around the mud flat, it was apparent that some students were about to give up. It was still over eight hours till the sun came up. Eight more hours of bone-chilling cold. The chattering teeth and the shivering moans of the trainees were so loud, it was hard to hear anything. And then one voice began to echo through the night. One voice raised in song. The song was terribly out of tune, but sung with great enthusiasm. One voice became two, and two became three, and before long, everyone in the class was singing. The instructors threatened us with more time in the mud if we kept up the singing, but the singing persisted, and somehow the mud seemed a little warmer, and the wind a little tamer, and the dawn not so far away. If I have learned anything in my time traveling the world, it is the power of hope. Hate is reality.
is reality. Don't you know God hates? I'm going to try to explain that last part, even God hates. God created us, correct? God had hate in heaven, didn't he, folks? He had who? His own son, Satan, turn and create havoc and hate. But even God hates, and God hates sin. And some sinners need to go see their God. When you kill women and children, cut off 40 babies' heads, you're evil, and you're the devil. And let me tell you something else. We have, there are troops of ours on the ground, guarantee the Marine Special Forces are there, the Navy SEALs are there, the Army's there, getting intel trying to find out where these hostages, American hostages, are held now. It's our war, as far as I'm concerned. You take America, I would give Iran 24 hours to turn over all, tell Hamas to turn over all the Americans, or we're going to start leveling cities. If we want to get this thing over with with Iran, now's the best time than ever. But it's not going to happen because we got Joe Biden in office and we'll have to keep fucking with Iran for another four or five years until they do exactly have a bomb on a rocket headed our way. Let's get it over with as far as I'm concerned, but it's not going to happen. But I just wanted to kind of explain that to you. Don't believe your media. There are forces on the ground. Our military is not part of the political wing, even though the military supposedly takes orders from the political wing. Let me tell you what, some general in a combat zone, he ain't listening to nobody but his own self, okay, and the lieutenants and colonels and majors around him. Get it? Screw the politicians.